Well, as promised, let's get chatting with the management of Case Ram Industries. The past quarter numbers are a little bit disappointing. The good news is the Rion and Chemicals business, it turned a bit positive after many, many quarters. To understand what went on, Mr. Radhakrishnan, the whole time director and CEO of the company, joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Radhakrishnan. Uh, good morning and good to see you, Win. Well, let's run good through morning. a couple of uh, factors first on the cement part of the business. What's the timeline for this uh, deal that you've done with Altitech Cement? By when will the cement part move to Altitech? So, there are a couple of more approvals required. Uh, the CCA approval is in place, right? Now, uh, few more approvals are there. Uh, the expected time, we should wait for the anywhere between September to March, it may happen. Okay, second half of the year is when you see this take place. Great. You know, you don't, yeah. you don't give the volume numbers, but I think, you know, back of an envelope calculation is suggesting that for the past quarter, you did around two point little more than 2 million tons approximately, and for the year, you did around 7.5 million tons. I recall at the start of the year, you were talking about 8 million tons, then you scaled that down to around 7.6. It appears you're a little shy of that. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely right. Okay, and the EBITDA per ton, you know, for, uh, for, for the past quarter, that's actually seen a sharp, sharp correction. Because at the end of last quarter, you were at more than 600 rupees. Then you were telling us maybe for the year, you'll do something around 600 rupees odd on an average. But you've ended the year with a EBITDA per ton of around 400 rupees. Is that correct? Because pricing was weak. I think that played spoil sport. About 500 plus, I would say. Maybe your calculation, other income you are deducting. Uh, no, so 500 for the year, right? 500 yeah, yeah, for the year. Yeah, yeah, and for correct. the past quarter, it was around 400. Yeah, correct. For the past quarter, it is 449, right? Uh, Q4 was a very bad uh, quarter from a realization front, uh, so far as we are concerned. The so markets we operate uh, had a tough uh, demand situation and uh, liquidity to turn tight in the markets. That's where it was. Okay. So, since you're talking about the price correction, tell us what was the price correction in quarter four in comparison to quarter three. On an average, we just had a discussion and we are working with around 5% sequential dip. What was the dip that you witnessed? And also in April, there were attempts to push through a price increase in markets like yours, south and west. Uh, tell us what is the quantum that you all pushed, quantum that was absorbed as well. So, between uh, Q3 and Q4 sequentially, uh, on an average, uh, 10 rupees to 12 rupees is the drop per bag. Mm -hmm. And as March set in, the, uh, in the month of March alone, if you look at Q3 exit and March month, it is about 18 to 20 rupees per bag. The prices followed, um, um, started falling steeply in the month of March. Now, uh, yes, there have been uh, attempts to increase the price. So far, in some pockets, 5 to 10 rupees has been absorbed. That's where it is. Okay. All right. Uh, so, small price absorption is what we have seen. What about the debt? You know, Mr. Radhakrishnan, for last many, many quarters, I was asking you, Mr. Radhakrishnan, when does the refinancing take place? When does it take place? Finally, it took place, I think, somewhere towards the end of February or March, which will be good news once, uh, you know, this asset goes to the new owner. But tell us, uh, what will be the total quantum of saving on this kind of, uh, you know, because of this refinance that's taken? And more importantly, once a cement asset moves out of the books, in Kesaram Industries, what will the debt be? What will be left behind? So, 220 crores, it will be the interest saving. Uh, 220 crores plus will be the interest saving per annum uh, okay. on the refinancing. But the debt which will be left in case along will be zero post the cement asset and the debt moves out of the case along balance sheet. Uh, I'm saying case along standalone. Signet, yes, the subsidiary, when it gets consolidated, there will be a 220 crore of debt. That's why we are. So we look at it on a consolidated basis, sir, because the big asset is moving out on a consolidated basis. The remaining business basically will have 220 crores of debt. And for yeah. the debt that you have, it will be around 220 crores of savings as well, interest cost savings. We got yeah. that. Now we have to focus on this pending business that you have, the rayons and the chemicals business. Good to see a bit of a turnaround. Give us a few details. In the past, you indicated there has to be some fund infusion. 
then this asset can do say a beta of around 60 to 70 crores. When is that fund infusion coming? Point number one. Point number two, give us a guidance for this year. What kind of an EBITDA number we should work with for the rayons and chemicals business? So, the, the EBITDA number for this year uh, is a variable of the time of time at which the fund is getting infused. So, no sooner the fund gets infused, this business will clock in EBITDA of 60 crore per annum. So, pro rata we have to calculate from the time of fund infusion. The question is when the fund will get infused. We are working very uh, closely on that. Uh, somewhere before December, the fund will should get infused. And how much is the, of the fund will get infused? So what it takes, it, uh, the way to look at it is we want to run it debt free. Okay, so, so around two hundred crores. So around two hundred crores will have to be the infusion then. So two hundred crores and whatever is required to scale up the business, which is under evaluation, will also get infused. And who will put this money? The promoter entity will put the money. Will you get a strategic investor? Will there be someone else who's interested in putting money? Because otherwise, this business, uh, Mr. Radhakrishnan, uh, it's been struggling for many, many quarters, and the street has only been interested because of the cement asset. Now they'll want to know what is left. So, give us a couple of uh, details then. Promoter puts in money, strategic investor comes in. Who is it? So, ideally, it could be a combination of both. It is too premature to say that. Right? We will keep you updated on that. We are working on all facts. Good speaking to you, Mr. Radhakrishnan. We have some idea about how you see things pan out, uh, you know, with regard to the remaining part of the business. And thanks so much for giving us some inputs on the business that moves out, which is a cement business, but we can take some derivation with regard to what's going to happen, particularly in the South and the West market. Thanks a lot for joining Thank you. in.